On July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 took off for the moon. Sitting in the Apollo coach, it was Neil Armstrong on the left, Michael Collins in the center console, Buzz Aldrin on the left, and they had three hand controllers. A pair of them were redundant, um, one to back up to the other. But primarily there's a translational controller and a rotational controller. Translational, left, right, up, down, used for docking of the Apollo uh, command module to the lunar module, and the joystick uh, or rotational controller moving the entire spacecraft around in rotational moments used to you know, flip it around on the way to the moon to, to connect the uh, command module and lunar module and also for re-entry and you know, setting up for the main engine burns. But an interesting uh, secondary function of this left translational control now from Neil Armstrong's point of view is that during launch he had his hand on this controller and normally again it's used for left right up down uh, kind of motions but during launch it has one additional feature which is this motion that little click you just heard would terminate the mission it would fire the uh, solid rockets in the escape tower and the uh, command module would lift away to come back by parachute so any kind of catastrophe at launch or during ascent uh, the steely-eyed missile man would have his hand on this, and that's all it took to, uh, to abort the mission. Now, that never happened during the Apollo program, um, <laughs> and there was at least one mission where that was a pretty scary moment, and that was Apollo 12, when two lightning strikes hit, took out the entire instrument deck, set off all the alarms, shut down all the fuel cells, but the Saturn V rocket continued to climb uninterrupted, and abort was not triggered, um, so probably one of the larger catastrophes at launch that they did face, and the reason for that was that the analog and digital computer down in the Saturn V was on autopilot. That basically this Bendix analog flight control computer in the IBM LVDC uh, controlled everything with a separate flight platform, separate instruments, separate transponders. These are some of the data links and uh, Motorola S-Band on the transponder that were in that instrument ring. They were in control of the flight on Apollo 12 and all others during the ascent stage. Um, you know, a modern version of autopilot. But at least for today, uh, commemorating the launch of Apollo 11, we can look back to these uh, handles and think about the bravery of those three men on their way to the moon to land for the first time.